Hey guys, James with Esprit Tech and Jetty USA, and I wanted to go over the programming on our new Elite Series Speed Controllers uh, using the Jetty Box and our controllers. One of the things to definitely keep in mind is when you're getting into and doing the programming, make sure the black lead is not plugged into the receiver. That's kind of a key. So we'll go ahead and jump right into it. I'm going to, I've got a battery plugged into the Elite 165. I'm going to plug the red lead into my Jetty Box which will bring up the name of the controller and a couple small data parameters, voltage and temperature. Uh, we're going to go from there. We're going to press down into our manual setting, which is the mode we want. I'm going to press it to the right. And we're going to get right into our settings. So for our manual, we're going to go into the first thing is temperature protection. Uh, you can adjust this in most climates. You can leave that at the 100 C rating, but you can raise it up if you're in an extremely high climate. It's just be aware that heat is the killer in these things. So we'll go down to our braking. Uh, we'll set this up for our aerobatic ship. So we're going to leave the braking to off, but you do have options there. Operation mode will be normal for what we're doing with this controller. Uh, and our timing adjustment. So we're using our, our standard 14 pole motor. So typically I'll run 22, 23 degrees timing. Uh, you can make that adjustment here uh, as high or as low as need be. Keeping in mind that you can spin everything from you know really high speed in runner motors, four pole motors, all the way up to the, the extreme you know 42 pole motors. So, and that timing will be will vary. Uh, frequency is set, leaves that at 8,000 hertz. Uh, acceleration, now this is one of the new features. You can set the acceleration on these controllers. Uh, originally, we had a, a one second zero to 100, uh, which was way too slow for aerobatic and 3D flight. Uh, they have cut that down to where now you can go all the way down to 0.2 seconds zero to 100 which is a, a little bit too much but we'll go ahead and set that for half a second acceleration rate uh, our accumulator types our battery data that all stays the same typically you'll leave it set, set up for a lithium composite um, number of cells we we'll leave that at auto cell voltage cutoff 2.8 volts per cell is where we like to, to run those automatically configures the off voltage based on the pack that's plugged in. The cutoff, I like to set it to slow down. Uh, initial point and end points, I typically use the default settings, which is auto and 1.8 milliseconds. Throttle curve will be linear for what we're doing. And our rotation is a standard direction. Uh, the startup power, I do not typically adjust that because it uh, kind of matches itself to your acceleration rate. Motor filtration is the other new addition to the controllers. Basically, you have a couple of settings. You have low and high. Uh, just keep in mind the high motor filtering is where what you would use for the higher pole motors, the 28 and higher pole motors. So like the Hacker V2 28 pole motors the X power motors and some of the others available on the market. You're going to want to set those for high motor filtering. Really basic setup on these controllers. There's not a whole lot of extra stuff you have to do. Uh, but that's the basics. If you have any questions beyond what you saw here today, don't hesitate to re reach out to us at Esprit or Jetty USA. Have a great day.